the array sub method executes a given function on the elements of the array and returns true if the callback function returns a truthy value for at least one element inside of the array. If for all of the elements it will return a false value, then the sum method will return false also. Let's see how that looks in code. We have here the numbers array which has numbers from 1 to 5. And we want to check if at least one element is greater than 4. So for that we can write numbers.sum and here we can provide a callback function greater than 4 and this callback function gets the item, the index and the array which is called upon. But in this case we only want the item and we can return item greater than 4. Now this will go over the array and it will check is this bigger than 4? No. Is this? No. Is this? And so on until it will find 5 which is greater than 4 which will return true and then the sum method will return true also. So let's pass this as a callback function. Let's store the result and let's console it so we can see what we get. And as we said, it should return true. If we didn't have 5, then this will return false because all of the elements inside the array are less than 4. Less than or equal than 4, actually. Another use case for this sum method could be if, for example, we have an array of objects of people and we want to check if at least one person from this array is an adult. All right, let's do that. So we're going to have here an array of objects. This will be persons. And here we'll have a name, Corinne, age 25. And then let's get name, Ivan, age 20. Also, let's add the comma there. And let's add another one, Liam, age 16. All right. And now we want to create another callback function, is adult, which will get in the item. So in this case, the person. And it can return person that age is greater than 17. Or we can say greater equal than 18, like that. Now let's pass in this adult callback function. Save this. And let's see what we messed up. Numbers is not defined because we now have persons. Let's console that clear this quickly. All right, and now we get through because two of the persons from our array are adults. But if we change this to 15 and 10, for example, now we get false. All right, I guess with these examples, you can see how the sum method works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.